Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the binomial distribution. And so, with the binomial distribution, it's a special type of discrete variable. Okay? And when we have the binomial distribution, three situations have to occur, and then it's a binomial situation. The first thing that has to happen for the random variable, there must be two options. Either it happens or it doesn't happen, success or failure. The second thing that has to happen is that the probabilities from each trial to trial are always the same. Um, another way to think about that is they are independent of each other. Um, and then the third option is there are a fixed number of trials. When these three conditions are met, then we know we have a binomial distribution situation. So let's consider an example here. Here's a guy shooting his basketball. Okay, Is it a binomial situation? Well, if we say it is the basketball either goes in or out, so there is success failure. If we consider he's going to shoot it 10 times, well, then we have the same number of trials. If we also say that he gets 70% into the basket each time, well then it's going to be, this is going to be the same from time to time. And so this would be a binomial situation. Uh, cute little baby here. Another thing it could be is like, oh, the gender of a baby. It's either a boy or it's not a boy or a girl or not a girl. Same thing. We look at success or failure. If we're going to have, let's say, five children and the probability of a boy is equal to one half, well, again, if we consider our, our circumstances, it is success failure because it's a boy or a girl. The probabilities are the same for each trial. We're going to assume it's one half for each scenario time. And, and bio, biologically, that may not be correct, but we're going to assume that. And then if I'm going to have five kids, there are a fixed number of trials, and that's five. So binomial would work here again. Or we could even consider this breakfast menu. We could have two eggs of sausage, two eggs of bacon, two eggs of ham. And it looks like there's three scenarios here, but it also... If the problems phrase such, this is also true. Because if I'm looking at, to find probability of having two eggs and sausage, right, that would be success. These other two would then be the failure. So it's still two groups, success and failure. If they were assigned probabilities, they'd say the same. And let's say I'm going to go for 10 breakfasts, find the probability of having two sausages. Well, that would be the fixed number of trials would be 10. So we always look for these situations, for these three criteria. When we have these three, then we know it's binomial distribution. And from our formal booklet, we use this X tilde, or squiggle tilde, binomial N is the number of trials. This is trials. And then P is the probability of success. And then we do this calculation. We're going to talk about that more. And here is our expected value, and here is our variance.